Good evening. I'm Jamie. This is Thomas. We're Big Oak Silla Farm. Welcome to our porch. We were going to do a quick little video about our Cooney Cooney pigs this evening. So I'm going to tell you a little bit of the history of Cooney Cooney pigs. Back in the late 70s, they were almost extinct. There were only like maybe 50 left. And so these two guys in New Zealand decided that they're going to save this breed. So with six sows and three boars, they start this comfort conservation program and basically saved the breed and now there's lots of Cooney Cooney pigs. Um, the first time that they were brought to America was in 1996 and then they've brought them a few times since then in like 2005, 2010, 2012. But now there are Cooney Cooney breeders here in the United States and we have become Cooney Cooney breeders. Yay! Yay. You can sit with us, it's okay. <laughs> so, Thomas is gonna tell you why we decided to get Cooney Cooney pigs and what we love about them. Go for it. So, I think what, what it boiled down to for us um, regarding Cooney Cooney pigs is we were just trying to find um, a, an animal, if you will, that would help support the farm uh, through the breeding process. We do uh, plan to be responsible in our breeding practices and not just a uh, Cooney Cooney mill. Um, so we're trying to minimize the amounts of um, uh, farrowings per year mm -hmm. for each of the sows. But really they're very docile, they're very friendly. Um, you know, just they're just a cute pig, to be mm -hmm. honest. I mean, their faces and you you walk out and you you go talk to them and they come over to the fence they're excited to see you it's kind of like they're just a, an extension of your family in the yeah. pet form not typical and pigs they're, not typical pigs we our, had our breeder pigs our feeder pigs i mean i was a little bit afraid to go in with them yeah Coonies so we had uh, blue butt crosses as meat pigs and we did a video on that uh, a while back um as you can see my son got a new water gun he's very pumped about it um, but these are very docile, even with the babies there. I mean, we were in and out today mm -hmm. all day long, picking the babies up and taking them and, and looking them over and getting them ready for registration process. They didn't care, you know, they, I guess there's a bond with us or a trust. They weren't aggressive. They weren't upset. And that's kind of why we got them. Yeah. They're pretty, pretty sweet pigs. Um, people ask us, do we plan on using our Cooney Coonies for meat? Yes. So... Uh, I would the, say yes and no. Yes yes and no. So the, the main goal is breeding and selling the um, offspring for profit for the farm to support our farm they're they're high price pigs um, especially are. when they're registered which ours are it really depends on the market you know what you got to see what they're going for each year mm -hmm. as to to how much they you can bring in for them and then you have of course your cost for registration and vet yeah. and all that stuff um but if there is a uh piglet that doesn't um come to confirmation to the breed you know, like, like we had one. There's criteria, right? There's criteria. There's two different, uh, there's more than two, but there's two main registrations for these uh, pigs. Um, there's AKKPS and A I, excuse me, I K H R. They switched their name a, a year or two ago. Um, I H K R, or I K H R, I say it backwards. Uh, International Cooney Hog Registry is more strict in their guidelines and therefore if you can register on their platform or their registry then you can register to AKKPS. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't really work the other way around. Correct. So it can work the other way around. It's just there's knows. more guidelines for uh, IKHR. Like it's guaranteed if you have it registered with IKHR it can be registered with the other, but the other can't guarantee you that it can be registered with IKHR because like for the waddles, Correct. for example, they have yeah. to have two waddles for IKHR. That's just a example. Yeah. So w when we decided which registry to go with, we wanted to go with the one that was the most 
strict to the guidelines of the breed. Um, I know there's all kinds of thoughts out there. This is what we're choosing for our farm. Um, other farms can choose their own process, but that's the, the registry and the confirmation that we are sticking to on our farm. And they're all really cute pigs, no matter whether they're registered or not, they're super fun. Yeah. And so, it's nice that the kids don't have to be afraid of them and the kids can go in and pet them. You can scratch their bellies and they roll over like dogs. It's really cute. Yeah. And back to the meat thing. Um, yes, the, dude, the, the, um, the, the kunikunis that do not conform to standard, we will raise here on the farm, possibly for meat, probably meat primarily. And then also we may sell some to people who just want like a pet pig. There are people out there that want a pet pig. Um, and then lastly, as companions for our, our breeding stock. So if we had a boar that uh, we turn into a barrow, then they might, they might be meat and they might just be a companion. Um, but that's further down the, the road. What is a boar and what is a barrow? So boar is an intact people. hog. He so can breed. He can breed. And a barrow has been, is not intact and cannot breed. Okay. Um, so, okay, what is the difference between raising a kuni kuni for meat and raising other traditional feeder pigs like blue rat cross or red wattles or so whatever? feeder pigs or meat pigs mm -hmm. are <clears throat> um, genetically designed to be able to feed and bulk up quickly mm -hmm. and provide a lot of meat. Cooney coonies are slow um, um, growing, yeah, I was going to say uh, maturation, but slow grower Good pig. Um, they will take 18 months to two years to get to full size and um, their meat is actually really good from what we've heard we have not actually harvested one of our own because we're trying to build our our breeder stock so but we've heard it's really good meat um, it's supposed to be like red marbly which is not mm -hmm. typical of pig meat pork. yeah and I mean if you've raised your own uh, feeder pigs yeah. on your farm or had true feeder pig meat not store-bought pork there's a huge difference. Taste it's so good. It's so much better. So, so much good. better. Yes. <laughs> so good. We were very satisfied with the pigs that we raised. Hopefully, we'll have. We wish some they were bigger. We wanted them bigger. Yeah. So I think for, you live and you learn. I think we're going to do another round of feeder pigs. Um, get some in maybe late summer, mid summer. July. She I wants July. July because both of our cows are going to be in milk by July. Yeah. And we're going to be drowning in milk. And drowning. raw milk is a great way to fatten up pigs. Um, mm. It supposedly makes their meat taste better. I don't know. I mean, the ones that we ate, their meat was delicious. But it is a great way to fatten them up, that's for yeah. sure. Um, and use that extra milk without it yeah. going bad. Um, let's see. I feel like there was one other thing I was going to say or ask you. Also, the other thing the other thing we got Cooney's for is because they're more of a pasture pig. Mm -hmm. They don't yes. root up a lot. Their noses um, are shorter. Yes, noses are shorter and they just, unless they're missing some kind of, if they have some kind of mineral deficiency or feed food deficiency, deficiency like they're super hungry, they will not dig up. They will still make little wallows mm -hmm. here and there, but they won't dig up your pasture and root up all your stuff. <laughs> um, if you want that for like a more of a Joel Salatin style or Justin Rhodes style clearing of pasture land, I do not recommend the coonies uh, for yeah, that because they don't so. root hard enough. Yep. But they're sweet little pigs and we love them. So we'll show you some footage that I have of the piglets and of us um, getting their registry done. And then that'll wrap up this video. So we've got our, um, <laughs> good grief, I'm filthy. Our girl pigs separated because we knew that they were due soon. And I came out in the backyard to stand on the deck to look at them because I could see them from here to check on them and see if they needed water or anything. And lo and behold, I saw a piglet. So I come running out here. And this is seven little biggies. Seven little biggies. For the, um, six Looks of like us. four boys and three girls. The, um, oh my gosh, look, that one has a paw print on its butt. 
There's one that I'm a little bit worried about that's not nursing well. I'm keeping an eye on it. It's this one right there. It's not seeming to latch on, so I'm keeping an eye on it. All the others are like going after it. cluttered garage but that's life working on our litter notification for our first litter so we're counting nipples and waddles and all that fun stuff okay so in doing this we've got pictures pulled up when I I had them labeled boy number one boy number two so we could kind of tell them apart and now we're on the IK Tell me what it is, babe. I already forgot. IKHR. IKHR. I only forgot because they changed it. It used to be AK. This what little guy. Um, definitely a goody stripe. I would say try, yeah. A goody try. He has got these gorgeous stripes. The lighting in here is just not doing him justice. But this is a pretty little pig here, little boy. Two bottles, one is brown, one is white, which I think is really fun. So we're getting a litter notification done. You have to go into this website and put in their coloring. Do they have waddles? So this is our first time doing this, so we're having to figure it all out. Um, and there are things that are really confusing. We have been sending pictures, oh my goodness, pictures and messages to, um, remind me your name, at Do Farm. I know them by Do Farms. <laughs> so Do Farms. We got one of our um, pigs from a farm called Do Farms that is in what? Grand Saline? Around that area. Near Grand Saline. And she's been super helpful in any pig questions that we have. So we've been sending her pictures and asking her, what would you call this one? Basically, before I moved the pigs out of where they farrowed, I took pictures all. I took pictures of all of them and labeled male and female and who they belong to because they're all together now. Look how funny this is. Fancy well, only now. had three piglets, but here she is nursing this many while <laughs> Stella's over here being a slacker. Now they actually have been nursing each other's babies, so it's like whoever lays down, the most babies go to them. So here's poor Stella here, just they're just going after it. Oh, here she goes. oh, now she's laying down. Maybe some will go over there now that she's laying down. But who we need is this little guy right there. You want to grab him? This one? Yep. <laughs> oh, now a couple have gone over there. The chickens have come to see what we're doing. The naughty rogue chickens that are digging up my garden. The one the kids call oatmeal cream pie. I have no idea which one that is. The one that looks like an oatmeal cream pie. Don't you oh. see her cream filling? Oh, so she's abandoned. She is banded. I didn't see that on there though, did you? I did, yeah. Okay. Oh. I went in there the last like two times. Thomas has caught him on my own and not needed my help. So I'm just gonna wait and see. Oh, she's under there now. 
She's gonna come out. They're like moms. Sister wife moms, look at him. The pig catcher. Look at that sweet baby. Hi, I like your waddles. <laughs> We're grabbing the last but not least of Fancy's Piglets. This one happens to be my very favorite. Because it's a paw print. Is that not the cutest thing in the world? And she has the most adorable little face. Look at that face. She's smaller. She is small. But she's super cute. We have successfully caught all of the piglets and figured out what color they are and taken pictures of their waddles and counted their nipples because that matters. And we are about to submit Stella's litter notification. We already did fancies. So very exciting. We're excited to be done with this project. All right, I hope that that was helpful and educational for you guys. Have a good evening and happy, happy homesteading. homesteading. Subscribe my friends. <laughs>